we have so many wonderful greens that we're getting at our CSA and farm stands. And one of the things I want to do is tell you how to work with them. This, for example, is a kohlrabi. And many of you may not know what to do with it. So I'm going to show you. And we're also going to look at chard, collards, and kale. This is rainbow chard, really pretty. I want you to love your vegetables. So let's go. We're going to start with kohlrabi. Kohlrabi comes in many different sizes and shapes. It has a pretty thick skin around it. It grows out of the ground with a root and it usually has these little things that, that stick up. Uh, the farmers have taken them off today, but uh, it looks a little bit like a spaceship and it's kind of a puzzle to a lot of people. And it's actually a vegetable that wasn't really popular, especially when I was a kid. I never saw kohlrabi in my life. But anyway, uh, I want to show you how to, to work with this. So the first thing you want to do is cut the bottom off. There are fibers that run the, the, around the kohlrabi in this direction. And you want to get all of those fibers off because they're tough. The younger the kohlrabi is, the, you can see this is a nice uh, young one that's kind of smallish. They'll be more, a little more tender. The first thing we want to do is cut off the very bottom. It's, it's a little tough and you'll be able to see that there are fibers running through here. So there's a couple of ways you can do it. If you're good with your knife skills, you can just take a paring knife and carefully cut this off. Don't cut your thumb off, please. Or you can take a, a peeler. This is a regular peeler. This is one that works better with tougher skinned items. So you may have to do this a few times. You can see that there are fibers running through here. They go this way around the kohlrabi. You really need to get all those off till we get to the real tender part. It feels like you're wasting some of the kohlrabi, but you're really not. The top is the more tender part. We're just gonna Take that top right off. Just taking the last little bit off. And there we go. Got a really nice, beautiful kohlrabi. And we can slice it. And it's very tender. It tastes somewhat like a sweet broccoli stem with maybe a hint of apple. It's really great raw. You can cut it into little julienne pieces or give it to your kids. In, in little half moons, can dip it, and there you go. Another vegetable we're gonna work with today is chard. This is called Swiss chard, and these are rainbow chard. Sometimes you'll find them very brilliantly colored in pinks and yellows and oranges, and they're really gorgeous. But how do you use them? We're going to take our rainbow Swiss chard and separate the stems from the leaves. And the reason for that is that the stems cook, need to be cooked a little longer than the leaves. So we can either take a, a sharp knife and run it along the leaf like that to get the stem off, save that, or we can turn it over and take a sharp knife and just run it along the edge of it. That might be a little easier if you're not as um, used to working with a knife. And then what we want to do is, depending on what we're using it for, we might want to be doing a stir fry. So then we would stack up our leaves, roll them up like this, and then chop them. Now we have nice ribbons of Swiss chard. You could further do a little rough chop on them and that way you can just stir fry with those. And with your stems, you just wanna chop them into nice evenly spaced sizes. And those you would saute a little bit before your leaves. Finally, we have collard greens and kale. 
And these are two uh, greens that are available throughout the season. They're both super hardy for farmers love to, to grow these. This is curly kale and kale comes in several different varieties. The cool thing about these greens is that they like cool weather. So you'll find them well into the fall and even collards, well, actually both of them, will go through a frost and they'll get even sweeter by uh, the, the frost concentrating the sugars in those vegetables. This is our collard. We're going to also take the stem off the leaf. We're not going to use our stems in this instance. You could maybe use them in a stock if you want to make a vegetable stock. Again, simply run your sharp, sharp knife along the edge of your stem and it'll take that right off or flip it over so the stem has some dimension. And again, just run your sharp knife along the edge and there you go. We can fold it and stack them and cut them into ribbons the way we did the Swiss chard, or we can use this as a leaf to roll uh, stuffing around, just rolling it up and using it like a tortilla. This is our curly kale. I've washed it and shaken it to dry it. Kale is really fun. It's very easy to cut. You can uh, just hold it really tightly and pull and the stem just pops right off. Or you can do the same thing with the knife. It's a little tricky with the curly kale since it's so curly, but it works pretty well. Now we've got our stems off and it's ready to use in a salad or a stir fry or uh, massaging it with olive oil to soften the leaves. And here are all the veggies we prepped today. We've got our kohlrabi, the rainbow chard, our collards, and our kale. Take a look in the newsletter. You'll see some really great recipes that we've collected just to help you and give you some ideas and you can always reach out if you have any questions. This is Chef Ellen. Thank you for joining me again. See you next time. We have our kohlrabi, chard, stems and leaves, our <laughs> Let's do it again.